What is up people? Today we are talking even more about the combat system because since the live stream happened, Intrepid has dropped a bit more information on Twitter and Discord. Plus there are a few things that we overlooked in the previous video. And also some of you guys pointed out some things I didn't notice before. But before we get started, make sure you guys are giving Intrepid your combat feedback over on the forums as well. As much as I'd like to believe Intrepid is creeping through the content creator comments for feedback, you are much more likely to be heard over on the forums. So I posted a direct link to the feedback form where you can make a post and let Intrepid know your thoughts on what you have seen, what you like, what you don't like, and how you think they could improve. Anyways, let's jump into the video. First, and probably the biggest thing, I talked about in my last video that was breaking down the combat, how there was very little signs of any tab targeting or the hybrid system. It looked like the majority of it was action combat, which is kind of expected when it's just basic weapon attacks. There's not a lot of abilities involved or anything like that, and there was no UI. So I was a little bit surprised when Steven took to Discord to note that they are still approaching the combat from a hybrid design perspective. In the live stream, we focused on the look and feel of the basic melee attacks because historically the feedback has been critical of the look and feel of combat. The system and mechanics around targeting continue to live in both the tab target and action targeting approach. More on those mechanics will be showcased in the future. The Ashes Twitter also gave us a little bit more stating that Intrepid is utilizing a hybrid combat model that will have a healthy medium between action and tab targeting combat. So Intrepid has not at all given up on the hybrid system they have talked about for years but is continuing to work on it with this combat update. Which in a way I am glad they are sticking to their word on this but I'm going to hold off on my thoughts with this until we get more of these systems in play because as you probably know by now I am a big action combat guy and I love what we saw in the basic weapon showcase and it's really hard to get a feel for what they're doing until I can actually play the combat. One thing one of you pointed out in the comments too is in the beginning of the stream you can see Steven go one on one with a rock guy and the rock guy has a red circle underneath him. In alpha one this circle indicated that the enemy was targeted by you and I'm pretty sure this circle appeared because Steven tab selected him. You really don't see this at any other point in the video no matter if Steven is fighting multiple mobs or going solo against another rock guy as he is in action combat mode and isn't targeting a single opponent. It's hard to tell otherwise though because the UI is hidden but is hidden because it's more than likely in a far from complete state. But you can also tell the exact moment Steven switched stances from tab targeting to action combat because if you notice in the beginning of the video you can see a mouse on the screen and right before he's about to engage in that first rock enemy the mouse turns into a red dot reticle in the center of the screen. Intrepid has also stated on Twitter that animation canceling is not a combat mechanic they are planning to support at this time which honestly I kind of hope they change their mind on. Again it's really hard to tell how it's going to work until I can actually play with the combat and figure it out but being locked into an animation can become very annoying at times in action combat with pvp the last thing i want to point out which isn't combat related but we saw in the combat video around 28 minutes in in the background there is a giant do near dwarf statue carved into the mountains overlooking the riverlands which makes absolutely no sense when you look at the map. The Dunir Dwarves from what we can tell reside in the Tabletop Mounds which has all but been confirmed through the concept art on Art Station but the Tabletop Mounds are not connected to the Riverlands at all. So this could just mean that there are some Dwarves that used to live in the Riverlands and built up a little home in these mountains at one point or this could be a big tease on some of those significant changes to the map that Steven and Margaret talked about in the beginning of the June livestream and perhaps the Tabletop tabletop mounds or even the dwarf starting zone has shifted. We will have to wait a little bit more though until Intrepid plans on delivering us a new map to really see what they've been up to with this though. So I guess we'll have to stay tuned. What are your thoughts on what we've learned about on combat in the last few days or about this suspicious dwarf statue in the mountains? Drop a comment down below and if you're new to Ashes and have yet to create an account, feel free to do so in the referral link in the description below. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications and Stay tuned for a lot more to come.